What is up everyone, I'm back with another Liverpool recap, running late, uh, today's probably the latest kickoff I've had in a long time, 9.30am and I managed to miss the kickoff by 7 minutes getting everything set up, but we are here, oh, I'm out of breath, I'm so nervous, this is Liverpool versus Chelsea, absolutely massive game, I thought it was at Stamford Bridge, I'm not going to lie, because our last game was at home, so I guess we got double home games, which makes me feel a bit better, but what doesn't make me feel better is how much we've switched up the lineup since that calamity of a meltdown we had in midweek against Sevilla. We look like we're playing well, I don't know what's been going on, I may have missed like some big chances so far, but um, notice that Sturridge is in for Firmino, which is crazy, did not see, see that coming, Chamberlain's in for uh, Mane. Salas uh, on the pitch, he's starting. There's no one album or Chan. He's uh, replaced by Milner, who is one of the most, like, the best person you could bring in for a sort of midfield emergency like that. Henderson plays, but it looks like the exhaustion and tired legs had more of an impact than we may have thought against Sevilla. Oh, man, I want to win this game so badly. I think we have a, if we were to win this, we have a decent chance of getting in the top four this weekend, and that is all I want this season, I've decided. After watching us go up and down and how inconsistent we are, Oh, Matip's playing, I just noticed, that's good. All I care about right now is finishing in the top four. I will be so happy, even if we don't win a trophy, I don't care. Quarters, semis, Champions League, and top four, I'm happy as Larry. Maybe my expectations are too low for a club as big as Liverpool, but I think we're still solidifying, we're still growing. Yeah, I just think Chelsea, I, just, I did, took a really quick look at the Chelsea lineup, and it looks very strong, so that does not bode well. Okay, I'm starting to settle down a little bit, but man, I just it's been a stressful morning. I slept in a little bit, and I have thought I was going to have enough time to get everything ready, but it was just a mad dash. Um, I think my roommate might still be asleep, so I'm probably going to end up waking him up if there's any kind of activity in this game, but he knows the deal. He knows what's up. So Gomez, Matip, Clavin, so Lovren is either injured. Let's see if he's on the bench. We got Smignolet. I actually kind of had a suspicion that Karius might come in for this, but I uh, guess not. Gomez, Clavin, Moreno, Matip, Milly, and Coutinho and Henderson in the midfield. Not too much creativity there, but some solidity, which we're going to need against freaking Hazard and the like. And then Salah, Sturridge, and Chamberlain. That is, I was shocked when I saw that. I really was. I know that Klopp really likes stability, especially playing Firmino. Oh, what a touch from Moreno. Moreno's got a lot to prove in this game. A lot of players have a lot to prove. Sturridge, I heard he wants to leave in January. If you want to be in this lineup, you got to score in this game. you got to deliver in a big game. Wow, Chelsea just looks so good. Mane, I think maybe he's doing that thing he did um, with Stoke last season where he kind of started that softer lineup and then as soon as we went down or even hopefully if it's like nil-nil at half time, he brings on the big guns and Chelsea just can't deal with it. Lallana on the bench, that's amazing. I think he'll probably come on around 60 minutes. Robertson finally makes the bench and Trent. Okay, so it's a really strong bench. I'm sure... Mane would have wanted to play in this game, but I'm sure Klopp has his reasons. Okay, let's take a quick look at the Chelsea lineup. Courtois, Cahill, Christensen, Azpilicueta, Alonso, Drinkwater, Kante, Bakayoko, uh, Zabacosta, Morata. God, Chelsea players and their fancy football star names. Jesus. And Hazard. Oh, Morata and Hazard up front. I hate that. I feel like we actually have done fairly decently against Chelsea as of late, so I think we beat them and drew them last season. Oh, Liverpool just got it in the box a couple times actually. Salah and Gomez look like they're playing well together too, overlapping runs and stuff like that, so Morata looks dangerous too. Morata and Hazard look like they're on the game today. I'm trying to decide if I would take a draw um, right now. <laughs> Lalana's hair, oh my god. Just going for that European look. Firmino and Sadio just chilling on the bench. They will want to get on. I think Chamberlain's got a lot to prove as well. I mean, he's been itching for a big Premier League start. Um, he obviously started the West Ham game, but this is Chelsea. So clearly Klopp believes in him. He wouldn't play him if he didn't think he could do it. He knows Chelsea. He's played against them a billion times. That's the one thing I think people underestimate about Chamberlain's value is that he's been around the block. Like He's been playing in the Premier League for a long time. He knows how these teams work. Oh, what a nice little ball. Sturridge. Oh, damn it. Looks like they are going to sit back. I'm not exactly sure where the tactics are. It looks kind of mysterious right now. I'm also not very good at analyzing tactics. So, Oh, Henderson. I saw a stat that uh, this is a year game. He completed 55% of his passes. No tackles won and no aerial du duels won or something like that. Like, Jeez, man, you're the captain of Liverpool. I'm a big fan, but I'm a big fan of every player who wears a Liverpool shirt. So... 
but I don't have that much like if you're gonna put in stats like that I mean you're not gonna last long I hope he really proves me wrong today it was against Chelsea last season that he scored probably my fav still my favorite goal of last season that long distance shot because I remember just being so sure it was over I kind of like almost I was at a bar and I was at a Chelsea bar actually and I kind of like looked away I was like ready for the next thing and then oh oh chills we seem like we're winning the every single one of Courtois' goal kick. Oh, I say that and we lose the ball. But we just win it back. Here's Salah. Salah with a massive point to prove in this game. He will want to score so badly. Oh my god, what a shot from Hazard. Good save, Mignolet. Oh god, corner. Mignolet comes out, sort of fisted away. Only as far as someone. <laughs> Salah tries to win it. Nice. Now we can break. Not with Sturridge running like a snail. See, I just feel like with oh, I don't want to. I don't. I feel like I'm ragging on the team a little too much, but with Firmino and Sadio in that starting lineup, I think we're looking a lot better on that counter attack than we just did. I haven't really seen too much of Chamberlain's pace. I know he's. I know he's quick. He's built like a brick shit house, though, isn't he? Jesus. Henderson just gets absolutely done. Oh, that was bad. If Hendo keeps that up, he can get off the pitch. I would like to see Henderson off for Lallana right now because that's like the third time Henderson's given away like a potential goal scoring opportunity. It's another corner. God damn. Yeah, I'm starting to think I take that point. <laughs> what the hell just happened? It's like a freaking pinball machine in there. Oh my god, it was the lack of leadership when we defend from corners. It's like unbelievable. Everyone's everywhere. Oh, I'm getting so stressed out right now. <sighs> we are getting absolutely bullied by Chelsea right now. Cannot keep the ball, getting muscled off of it. They're just creating chance after chance. We're conceding fouls. Henderson's just like shirt pulling. I'm not happy with this performance right now. This is just one of those games where I think Chelsea are a better, more organized team than us. But we just have to keep razor sharp focus and just weather the storm. And with Klopp, you have a high... You have a decent chance of beating teams that are better than you. But with the way he puts out the team and the way he inspires and the way they play. So, we can win this game. I mean, of course we can. Mignolet, I don't want to curse anything, but Mignolet was looking a bit sharp in some of these situations. He's dealt with everything pretty decently, so... <laughs> I can't believe I just said that before a free kick, but... Oh my god. I can barely watch. Oh, it's just why. If we can just get to half time 0 0, I think Klopp is going to bring on Mane and Firmino, then I think we've got a decent chance. I don't remember the last time Klopp made a half time substitution. He never does it, but I think that's what he's up to in this game. Is it just me or is Moreno also uninjurable? <laughs> I don't think he ever. He gets fouled a lot, but he just he always looks like he's in so much pain. I'm like, oh god, I think he's injured. Never seen him like come off from an injury, I don't think. I think Newcastle will be a great place for Sturridge to go. I have a bit of a soft spot for Newcastle, and um. I think he would score a lot of goals there. If he's gonna go anywhere in the Premier League, I'd rather I'd rather be the team that I kind of like, and that has a chance of like randomly having a great season. I think Newcastle could easily just like randomly finish in the top six because they are a huge club. I think this is actually the first time I've had time to shower before a game before I've done a video. So usually I look like freaking The Walking Dead when I start <laughs> filming. Chamberlain's hurt his head. He's collided with Conte, who probably has a very strong head. Oh. That looks so painful. Question, if you guys could sign one player from Chelsea, who would it be? For me, it would be a toss-up between Courtois and Conte. Morata needs to freaking get some shampoo, man. His hair is so greasy. If anyone's going to score, it looks like it's going to be Salah from our side. If Salah scores, I'm going to freaking... Oh, Chelsea break. Moreno wins it back. We're starting to take a bit of a grip into the game. Salah's got it. Salah's in the box. Loses it, they kick it out. Okay, we're looking better now. Just noticed in the past sort of like five minutes, we've started absorbing the Chelsea pressure a bit better and we're looking a bit more dangerous when we're moving forward. Oh, by the way, uh, thanks so much for the support in the last video, the Southampton one. I posted it pretty late, but uh, I saw one comment. Uh, you guys were all really supportive and gave me a lot of encouraging feedback. Uh, someone said that watching the same camera angle for, like for the whole video can be a bit boring. Um, do you guys have any suggestions of other things I can, I can do to make these videos a bit more entertaining? I'm trying to keep the pace pretty quick um but obviously just listening to me talking to a camera can get kind of boring so 
Um, do you guys have any suggestions of other things I can throw into the video just to spice it up a bit and keep keep the interest level high? Um, okay, I'll see you guys for the second half. One, two, three. And we are back for the second half. It has just got underway. I've got myself a nice cup of joe. I'm really bad at drinking hot liquids. <laughs> Put that down. Now, has Klopp made any changes? It's half time. We made it to 0 0. Half time. Bring on Mane and Firmino right now. Sturridge has done absolutely nothing to warrant staying on the pitch, in my opinion. The thing is, now if we lose, you're just going to get that spree of comments. People saying Klopp should have done changes at half time. It's like, we can assume that, but we don't know football as well as Klopp does. We don't know the players and how they're feeling and their fitness level like Klopp does. So, just trust Klopp. He knows what he's doing. Having said that, there are a few times where he definitely should have made changes a little bit sooner, but again, we don't know for sure because we just don't know the fitness level, the confidence, and all these other things that we just see from the outside. We just assume that everyone can play all the time, but okay, like 50 minutes, he needs to make a change. I want Mane in this game. Top two is already established. I mean, obviously anything can happen, but I'd be, su I'd be very surprised if Man United drop out of the top four and the City are going to finish in the top four. So it's a fight between us, Tottenham, Chelsea, and Arsenal for top four. And I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> I think we can beat Arsenal to it. I think we can beat, oh, I don't even know. I don't think we can beat, we can maybe beat Tottenham to it, but I don't see Chelsea not finishing top four, to be honest. Let's say Chelsea do it. It's between us, Tottenham, and Arsenal. If you're a pundit or a statistician, you probably would say Tottenham, but my heart says that we're going to finish third. Chelsea fourth. Tottenham fifth. Arsenal sixth. May live to rue that. Oh, this coffee is like hotter than the sun, I swear. And no back to Clavin. It's okay though, we're building. We're building something. Oh, we're building something here. Here's Hamas Milner. Into Sturridge. Salah has it in the box. He's being manhandled. Oh, they deal with it. Offside, Chelsea. <laughs> Chamberlain. Salah. They've just been swarming him in the box. He can't get his, can't get a shot away. 61 minutes clock. Please make a change now. It's time. He waits a long time, doesn't he? It's the only real criticism I have of him. I don't mind his persistence with players. I don't mind his even his lack of signings because I know he's waiting for the right one. And if it's a long-term project, storage. Oh, I don't mind him not signing a player. If we are going to get Van Dyke in January, I mean, it's worth it, right? I, I respect that resolve. I respect his commitment to his decisions. But if there's one thing I would change about Klopp, it is bringing on players just a bit earlier because they don't have enough time to make an impact. Oh, Courtois, just with his massive giant hands. Coutinho. Salah! Salah, yes! Against his old club, Mohamed Salah takes the lead for Liverpool. Yes! Freaking Mohamed Salah. Does he celebrate? Did he celebrate? No, he just does this. He doesn't care. Okay, 65 minutes. Uh, do we need Mane now? I don't know. Yeah, I think we do because they're going to be coming out. We can hit him on the counter. Bring in Wijnaldum. Sturridge is coming off. Wijnaldum comes on. That makes sense. That makes sense. I like that substitution a lot. Morata goes for the bicycle kick. We got to weather the storm here, boys. Oh my god, I'm freaking shaking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we just gotta shut things down. Can we do what we didn't do against Sevilla? Moreno's, you know what? I'm just gonna take the entire team on. Salah's in. Oh, he tried to feed it to Moreno. The Courtois comes out. God damn it. Look, Chelsea, you're offside. Okay. Weathering the storm so far. Oh my god. Never in my life have I seen time of a game go so slowly. I thought it was like 80 minutes and it's 73. Drink water comes off for Fabregas. I don't like that substitution one bit. They've got an advantage. It's just Coutinho and Salah alone. He gets it to Salah! We get the corner. God damn, we need to score another goal. Williams got it in a dangerous area. It's in. 
Incredible goal from William. I don't even know if he was going for the goal there. Mignolet should have had that covered though. He knows it. It looks like he was almost crossing it. Just chips it. Mignolet is at fault for that. He should have that. He's got lots of time to see it coming. Sorry. I like these headphones. I don't want to break them. But damn. The stream is so laggy right now. Come on, Millie. My camera's almost out of freaking space. Milner, take it. Oh, it's well dealt with. This is it. One last attack. Oh, we lose the ball. Yeah, there it is. Good handshake from Conte and Klopp. In the end, a point is not too bad, but we really should have won that game. We really started to turn the screw, start dominating. Salah, really happy he gets his goal, but Mignolet is responsible for the point there, if you ask me. Mane is not happy. He's arguing with Klopp about something, or I think he wanted to come on sooner, and he should have. Um, they're hugging it out, though. All right, well, I would have taken the point. I mean, I can't really complain. Um, it's just a shame because our goal was a lot better than theirs, and we could have scored a couple of times. But overall, I'm actually kind of happy with that result. I'm not sure where that puts us, but if Arsenal win tomorrow, which they probably will, I think they go above us. Um, so that's a shame. But we keep moving on. A point against Chelsea, even if it is at home, isn't too bad. I just feel kind of deflated. Second draw in a row that feels like a loss. Um, so, But it is what it is. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. All right, well, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.